Yo quiero, yo quiero dinero. That is very true. I do want some money. Do I want to highlight? Nah. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Griselda. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to create this really pretty, bright, bold, but very soft at the same time eyeshadow makeup look. I feel like this look is super wearable. It's not too bold, it's not too crazy. I kind of toned it down with a softer eyeliner and you guys will see in this video what eyeliner I use. But I really love how this look came out. Today I'm going to be using the new Caliente palette by Artist Couture. I really love the colors, the combination. I feel like you can create so many different looks with this palette. So that's what we're going to be using today. So, if you want to see how I create this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so for this look, I decided to do my skin first. Just because I feel like you guys have seen me do my foundation routine so many times. So, we're going to start off with the eyes. Today, I'm going to be priming my eyes with a different uh, P. Louise base. I'm going to be using this big jumbo shade number two, the Remore. I'm using a lighter shade because the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is super bright and I want the colors to really stand out and I'm going in with a Sigma blending E25 brush and I'm just gonna go in pat the base in to get the ultimate coverage and every time I get towards the outer part of the eye I like to just kind of blend it out so it looks a little bit more diffused towards the outer corner and then I go in with my finger I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then just grab any translucent powder or if the palette that you're gonna be using has a white or skin tone color, you can go ahead and use that to set the base. All right, so moving on to the eyes, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be using a new Caliente palette by Artist Couture. I really love this palette because it's super compact. The colors on this palette are so, so gorgeous. I feel like I haven't done like a super bright color on my channel, so today we're gonna dive in to some color we are going to start off with the shade fuego which is this right here and i'm going to be using a sigma tapered blending e40 brush so for this look we are going to spend a lot of time blending because we are going to be incorporating a lot of different colors together so it is super important that you really take your time in the placement, going back and forth, building the color. A lot of the times, if you don't take your time building the color, sometimes the eyeshadow just starts looking really blotchy. I like to really take my time in building the eyeshadow color to perfection just so the look looks super smooth and really nicely blended. Blending is key and that is one of the things that I've always talked about on my channel um, you always want to take your time with blending eyeshadow especially when you're using a super bright palette taking your time with blending is key 100% I like to use light pressure so it goes from having like a wash of color to it actually being the true color of the eyeshadow in the palette we're just gonna take that eyeshadow and start winging it outward like this towards the end of the brow and then you can build from there so once you've got the desired color on the crease you can start building from there i'm gonna go ahead and pick up vibras which is this really pretty magenta color i'm gonna go ahead and pick up a more dense brush this is the morphe this is just the morphe it doesn't have a number i think this came in a set uh, usually when they don't have numbers they usually come in a set this would be in comparison to like the 217 by mac which is a little bit more dense it's still a blending brush for the crease but you get a little bit more application with this so we're gonna pick up vibras and i'm gonna follow the same shape that i created with fuego because I want to create that elongated eyeshadow look. I really have been loving just creating that really nice cat eye look. So we're just going to start building that. And then the reason why I'm using this brush right here, 
uh, is because I want more precise application. And if you go in with a fluffier brush, this is going to obviously spread the eyeshadow. This look definitely reminds me of Crispy. Crispy always has like really nice like winged out eyeshadows. She definitely knows how to rock that look. She is an OG YouTuber. Her and I go way back. And then I just go back in with the fluffy brush, just kind of marry those two colors together. So there's no separation of where each eyeshadow starts. We're just going to keep blending that out and then bring that in as well. It's all about going back in with that blending brush that gives it that really nice smooth transition. So I wanted to add a little bit of warmthness to the crease. So I am picking up Sensual with that same blending brush. And we are just gonna go in circular motions back and forth on top of Vibras. And we are going to push it outwards. And I'm holding the brush back here because I want to do a wash of color. I don't want it to be super opaque. You always want to make the eyeshadow look diffused up here. And then I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush. This is the Morphe M502 brush. And I'm just going to start blending everything together. There's no product on here. And the reason why I love to do this step is because it just blends all the colors together. But you are still able to see the color definition of each shade. And Sensual is just like the perfect shade of brown to add to these vibrant colors. Because it doesn't take away from how beautiful this, this orange and magenta is. It just adds to it. So now we're going to pick up this color called Brio. And we are going to pop that in the lit space. So picking up my MAC 239 brush. We're going to pick up Brio with to the 239. And I'm going to get a generous amount. And we are just going to pick up a little bit of Fix Plus and wet that. And we are going to start by just popping that in the center and I'm just going to go in and pat that in all right so I went ahead and I popped on a lash and I did a wing so you guys can see we're gonna be using the melt cosmetics burnish eyeliner I'm gonna be using my Mac 210 brush I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys before but for whatever reason I can't use an angle brush when I do my eyeliner I always have to use a really thin brush just to I don't know I just feel like I have a little bit more control um, so I'm going to place the eyeliner right on the lash line and to create my wing this eyeliner is so smooth it just glides on like butter and melts eyeliners are super super pigmented whatever is left on the brush I'm gonna use to kind of map out my eyeliner towards the outer corner and that's another cool little trick to do when you are using a gel eyeliner just using whatever is left on the brush can help you uh, create the perfect wing all right so for lashes i'm going to be using the roquel beauty lashes uh, these are the beaming sun i don't know if you guys saw my last video where i use these lashes Honestly, I just don't want to wear any other lashes. These are just my current favorite and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be my current favorite for a very very long time. He did come out with more lashes but these just like really hug my eyes so perfectly and I just love how it gives me that really nice cat eye effect. So it's gonna go cohesive with this eye look. Alright so for eyeliner I'm gonna be using my NARS Rube Bonaparte to just neutralize my waterline. So what I like to do once the lash is fully on, I go in with my tweezer and I really push the lash upwards so it can really lift the eye and you can really see the curl of the lash. So we're gonna pick up my really old 224 brush and we are gonna start the bottom lash line. We are going to pick up Fuego. This brush has gone through some things. Okay, so we're just gonna run that through the bottom of the lash line. We're just gonna carry the eyeshadow 
towards the outer part of the wing. Picking up Cultura, which is this really pretty yellow, I'm using that same brush and I'm actually gonna run that through the bottom to kind of like drag the color to really give it a nice transition. And it's also gonna help brighten up underneath the eye. We're gonna pick up Mamacita. We're gonna use this KVD 70 brush. I wanna just define at the bottom of my lash line. So I'm using a more dense angle brush so I want to get right at the root of the lash line now picking up a pencil brush I'm gonna use brillo we are gonna place that in the inner part of the eye to just to give it a little extra highlight all right so I'm gonna go ahead and spray fix plus just to bring that moisture back into the skin all right so we're just gonna do a small coat of mascara underneath the lash line with my giga black mascara so for the lips, I am going to do something a lot softer um, because I feel like we have a lot going on. We are going to be using Strip Down by MAC. For lipstick, I'm going to be using Max Shy Girl. I wanted the lip to be a little bit more on the peachy side. Still very cohesive with the look, but I didn't want it to be too nude or too orange. So I kind of want it to be a little in between. So Shy Girl's perfect for that. Who remembers Shy Girl? I remember wearing Shy Girl all the time back in the day when I used to work for MAC. That was like my summer go-to like nude lipstick. Pairing it with Strip Down, nobody could tell me nothing. Then I'm just gonna go back in and define the lips a little bit more. And to top off the lips, I'm gonna be using Artist Couture's Peep Show. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that in the center. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Let me know if you want more colorful looks like this. And I will see you guys in my next video.